The push for protection against COVID-19 goes beyond humans, and now animals at Zoo Tampa are getting their vaccines. Our Liz Crawford was there today and has more on the zoo's vaccine rollout plan for its animals. So far, the Zoo Tampa team has vaccinated 30 animals, including this binturong. They're hoping to have the entire zoo vaccinated in the next couple months. No, it's not the same vaccine humans are getting, but the goal is the same. We don't want any of our animals to get sick. Uh, we want to protect them. Scientists are still studying the threat COVID is to animals and whether animals can transmit to humans. Different species that have accidentally gotten it from their caregivers and did get sick from it. So our job, my job here is to protect the animal's health, but we also want to protect human health. Zoo Tampa prioritized which animals should get the shot first based on their susceptibility and then the logistics of giving them the shot. So every single animal has their own little plan. The skunks are very trusting of their caregivers, so they were easy to vaccinate. One of their caregivers told me that we have a bunch of skunks that are still able to spray, which I didn't realize, and nobody did. So that just shows you how trusting they are. Florida Panthers, lemurs, and the tigers also got their shots. We've had zero cases at Zoo Tampa, and my goal is that that is the way it's going to stay. So far, none of the zoos participating in the trials have reported any side effects on the animals. However, an orangutan at another zoo was apparently spotted holding his arm. Hopefully he's doing better now. At least 70 other zoos across the country are also vaccinating their animals. It's a two dose regimen that's given three weeks apart. But what about your pets? Can they catch COVID? Let's take a deeper dive on that tonight. The CDC says that risk is low, but yes, it can spread from people to animals in some situations, especially during close contact. From the cases that we've seen so far, most have been cats. In April of last year, two pet cats tested positive in New York. Their owners reported they had mild respiratory symptoms. Now, as for the big cats, just yesterday, two tigers and three snow leopards tested positive at a Nebraska zoo. While there's still a lot unknown about how it affects them, there's no evidence right now that animals can spread COVID to humans. But the CDC says if you do come down with COVID, try to avoid contacts with your pet.